Hi, Miss Alina. Today I'm going to show you and explain you the four types of germs. We start with virus. Viru the virus is a multi-celled organism which has spines, pointy, pointy stuff, and um, uh, they head. They when they go into cells, their spines sometimes it matches the cells, transmitting the the disease that it carries onto the cell. Then the cell damages, becomes a virus. Then they they stick to the skin or go to other or go to um, the places where it affects and then spread the disease there. But first, the first virus needs to make a team. Okay? Because one single virus cannot be very strong. How do these viruses die? Viruses die when they get shot by the sun's heat. I mean, the sun's rays. And when it's shot, they're dead because they are um, they get weakened by the sun's rays. And they get stronger by cold. Moving on, the bacteria. The bacteria is a one-celled um, a one-celled organism and they produce common sicknesses or diseases and they die easily by heat yes the cell their their cover breaks off instantly dying killing this and what type and um, what types of virus of diseases these uh, viruses make they can make common and complex viruses and the fungi the fungi is like a circular virus connected by a bacteria well no it's not like they mixed and they make a fungi no a fungi instead of creating its own energy it it makes energy from other animals that's why it's a decomposer in the food chain and they produce at athletes foot disease and breast disease i mean beast disease yes they can be very deadly because sometimes if they get if they get too much energy they can decompose someone's body that's the fungi and lastly the protozoa the protozoa creates very strong viruses they they get their energy from swamps and uh, moistern places and mosquitoes protozoa live in mosquitoes bodies many of them and they generate the dangerous malaria which kills i don't know how but it's the most dangerous um germ there is in africa and yes it's the most dangerous disease but not all the um, germs are bad bacteria and protozoa have a good side and a bad side but the virus and the fungi they only have bad sided bad sides but the fungi even is good because it reduces too much animals in the wild but sometimes too much fungi is very bad it can make an animal go into extinction the bacteria not all bacteria how is it good it um it helps our digestive system and with other many stuff this one lives in uh in the bye